Another comedy anime, another stream of poop jokes and contrivances about as justified as calling a vegan sausage sausage. Another opening paragraph in which I desperately try to stall time before the inevitable ramble, as I and probably most of you realize that I am not really suited to talk in any credible way about comedy or slice of life animes when my sense of humor is about as developed as that of a centipede, while slice of life anime are for those modern posh people whose ideas of romance or human interaction are about as convoluted as an average idea of a magic spell or dating. But since I've done most of the interesting stuff this season, Season, it's time to scrape the bottle of the barrel before our inevitable conclusions. The first one on our list is Virtual Son of Amiteru, which is about what you expect from this sort of name. YouTubers are social influencers, as they called by people whose daily diet consists of diluted cum and children's tears, are in their sort of early young adult phase of life, and the rebellious puberty is kinda over, but outside of eccentric weirdos, most are yet to take them seriously enough to consider viable, so they try their best to show their older and more respectable colleagues. See? See? We too can be just like like you, senpai! And the results of such ventures are usually fairly predictable. Should you be brave or tolerant enough to withstand the graphics and all of their let's play VR chatroom glory and the main characters that are moving as if they all suffer from an epileptic seizure or at the very least try their hardest to give you one, you'll quickly find out that the show is fairly boring to watch to anyone who isn't already into this virtual YouTuber business, the comedy is more flaccid than the tires of my employer's cars, and to be frank, Pop Team Epic does their shtick a lot better. And non domestic Nakanojo. Domestic Nakanojo Kanojo is a typical romance anime. Thank you for watching this week's ramble, see you next week. That was two, three days of my life surely well spent. You know, it's kinda strange to see similarities in the languages I'm using for this show. Typical and typoe are similar in meaning, and to be honest, always reminded me of the word type more than the word generic. When I hear typical, I usually think of something like a stack of papers or something physical, not a reoccurrence, but watching domestic not incest isn't even typical in a stack of papers sort of way, it's more like you're forced to go to a party you don't want to go, surrounded by people you don't like but can't escape or at the very least kill something. Anyway, stop me if you heard this one before. Domestic Nakanojo is a 12 episode romantic slice of life anime about a young boy that slowly but surely develops a small harem of girls but he allows only one and so he has to maneuver himself between them because they're kinda important or unstable. There, that sums up roughly the entirety of the plot. The anime is what we in educated circles call a slow burner, or as I like to call it, it feels so fucking drawn out in the beginning that eventually your brain enters a catatonic state and stops caring about what's happening on the screen. The plot is partially to blame for it, while it doesn't have the cognitive dissonance of slime, it has characters about as predictable as you could expect from this sort of show. A reclusive girl, a lively active girl, a lively girl who's really suicidal, a friend who's very active in helping you and who will probably fuck most of these girls in the inevitable erotic dojin. Can't say for certain if that's the standard these days, since an anime with the same shit only about disabled people was celebrated like the second coming of Christ, but back in my days this shit was bread and butter of romance anime, which is probably the reason why it feels so cheap. Generic. In show's defense, it isn't bad production and story-wise, it's about as what you expect from this genre with some neat little twists here and there and a memorable small cast of characters making it an easily digestible, harmless entertainment if you're into this sort of shows. The graphics and the music are okay, nothing special with the music being especially generic to the point where I remember listening to that music in fucking initial D of all places, but meh, not like people deliberately listen to background music, so who cares? And really now, who cares, aren't you? Who cares about these obvious D-list animes that no one in their right mind watches outside of things like you who obviously don't have a social life and probably barely grasps the concept of it. Well, you know what? You're probably right, dear listener, but unlike you who can click off and go watch anything else at any given moment, I'm stuck here and don't have a choice. And just like current leader of China, if I'm to suffer this all, I'm taking you all with me. Mm -hmm.